Choosing home accessories such as towels, blankets and bed linen is really easy and straightforward. In this video I'm going to show you a few different techniques such as folding the towels, using cardboard and a few other methods to make them look really good for your store. There's a few different methods and ways that you can choose to fold a towel. For this size I'm going to try and do them as square as possible. So firstly I just fold it in half and then again on the long side and then over. Looking at the screen now, I can see that the layers underneath, the top layer is showing, which looks a little bit messy. So I'm gonna try and tuck that under to hide those lower layers. All right, so I'm quite happy with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture. Stacking towels is a really good idea for your customer to see what various sizes there are for the same style towel, as some of the customers will want to buy more than one size. I will first fold it lengthwise and then fold it over into three pieces to get that square. Then you can place a towel on top of the other one, whichever way you like it. I quite like it in the top uh, left corner because it means you see the border of the towel. Then we can bring in our last towel and do exactly the same thing with that. Over in half, the long way. Then fold it in three and we can place that right there on top. Making sure everything is really neat and symmetrical. We can then have a look at the light and work, play around with it and see where we think it would look best and show the texture of the towel. So I quite like it here. So then I'm just gonna tap and take a picture. You can also shoot your stack towels like this to show off the body and the volume. So I've just folded the towel in half and then I'm gonna fold it lengthwise. You could just fold it straight over like this, but that won't give you as much body. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it in three folds instead of two. So I'm first gonna fold it over once and then one more. Make sure it's flat and nice and that everything is lined up, like that looks nice. So avoid showing the open side as it looks a bit messy. And I'm going to place this as a slight angle and uh, that way it gives you that depth when you see the side. Then I'm going to do the second towel, same thing, make sure you fold it so this side and that side line up. You can choose to place it however you want, you can play with the angles if you want to. I'm going to place it nice and symmetrical at the back right corner of the towel so you see that size difference. Last we have a little uh, guest towel. Same, fold it in half lengthwise. Then again fold it in four and I'm gonna place that on top of the other one. Another trick if you want to create some more body in this is to use some tissue paper. So I think this towel looks a little bit flat so you could just go ahead and Put in a little bit of tissue. Make sure you slide it in quite a bit so you don't see it in the picture. That way we get a little bit more volume, a little bit more body and raised up. This is a great way of showing the body uh, of the product. Also to show the customers what different sizes you have. Have the folded side towards the camera as it looks a lot neater. Also make use of tissue paper to add a little bit extra body and volume. So here we have a blanket which um, also looks really good if you fold it for your website. Same as with the towels, you can fold it in many different ways. I'm gonna do a really easy and simple fold that looks very neat. So firstly, I just folded it in half. Then I'm gonna go ahead and fold it across. Let's turn it around. Fold it over again. Make sure everything is really nice and lined up so you get that symmetrical, nice shot. And then fold it over. If the blanket doesn't have enough volume or if you feel like dipping in here in the middle, a really easy trick is to use a piece of cardboard. So for this one, I will just fold it over, pop the cardboard in between. This will give it a bit more structure and hold its shape a bit better. The thing to pay attention to here are the fringes of the blanket. It only takes a few seconds and you get a much nicer result if you just straighten them out, comb through them 
make sure they're nice and neat. You can also add a detail shot for your homeware. It's a really good way to actually show off the texture of the product. For this blanket here, I will just fold the corner up, which will give you a really nice detail shot that will show off the lovely texture of this blanket and also the nice fringes. Adding a detail shot really gives the customer a clear idea of the texture that the product has. Paying attention to the folding techniques I've shown you here in this video would really make your homeware look great online and very professional. If you have towels that come in different sizes, stack them up for the customer can see all the various sizes they come in.